Welcome to the Qantas Tea Time configuration for non My Club clients video. By now, you should have received a username and password from My Club, which will enable your club to log into the Qantas Golf Inventory site. The QGI site login can be found at qgi.myclub.com.au. The initial timesheet setup will be done by My Club staff, with ongoing maintenance to be done by the club. The following video will include logging into the QGI site, bookings, tea time management, course maintenance or competition details notification, setting special prices or changing fees, email reminder and course cancellation notification, advanced features and bookings reports. Logging in to QGI. To log in to the QGI website, you must first go to qgi.myclub.com.au. You'll then need to input the username and password that you've been supplied by MyClub. Once this has been entered, select the login option. The first page you'll see once logged in is the fixture list page. This will show all of the fixtures that you have set up for particular days. Each event should have a timesheet linked to it, which can be viewed by selecting the event name. Bookings. To view the QGC bookings made on a particular day, you must first find the event in your fixture list and select it from the list. Once in the event, a Qantas booking will be signified by the Qantas icon on the booking. There will also be a green dollar sign which indicates that the booking has been paid for. If you select the booking name and select edit booking, you will see all the relevant details associated with the booking including phone number and email address if provided. If a master timesheet is in use at the club for bookings other than QGC, it is the club's responsibility to manage both T-sheets to ensure duplicate bookings do not occur. There are a few ways to keep the master T-sheet updated with bookings made from QGC. The first is to block out times dedicated to QGC on the master timesheet. And secondly, when a booking is made from QGC, you will receive an email to indicate the number of players and the time selected. Tea time management, including initial setup, remove a tea time, and adding tea times to sell. My club will initially assist you in setting up timesheet templates, which will have set times to sell to QGC. To make any amendments to these timesheets, select the event you wish to amend from the list provided. In this example, I'm going to remove some tea times from QGC, and I do this by selecting the tea block name on the left hand side and then selecting the Reserve All option from the box that drops down. Once I click Apply, the bookings will no longer be able to be made on QGC. To add additional tea times to sell, you must first select the Edit Rows option at the top of the page. From the list that drops down, select the Add Rows feature. This will open a box which will give you options about how to set up your tea times. You must fill in a start time, which is the time of your first tea time, the number of intervals you wish to add, and the distance between each of those intervals, as well as which tea block you'd like to be assigned to. Once the additional tea times have been set up, you must enable them to be viewed on the QGI site. You do this by selecting the T block name on the left hand side of the row, and from the box that appears, select the list on Qantas option. On this page, you must select the booking rule to apply. We'll talk about the creation and editing of booking rules later in the video. Once you've just selected the booking rule from the list, the fee categories associated to this booking rule will be below. Once you're happy with the setup, Select List on Qantas. Navigating back to those tea times, you'll now see that they've had a different colour applied to the time, indicating the booking rule which has been applied. 
During periods of course maintenance, it is required to add a notice regarding the details that may affect the playability of the course so that this is shown to the members of QGC. To apply the course maintenance or competition details notification, you must navigate to the event which you want to apply these details to. Once in the timesheet, select the configure event option, followed by the details and opening option from the box that is provided. From the details and opening box, select the public configuration option, where you will see the public event title. This is where you should input any of the course maintenance or competition details which may affect play on the day. Once you have finished entering the details, select the save option at the bottom of the screen. Setting special prices and changing fees. To set a special price for a particular day or change a fee for a particular day, you must navigate to the event you're required to change. Once in the T-sheet, navigate to the configure event and details and opening option. Once the box loads, select the public configuration option. This is where the fees for the day are held. To add in a special price, simply enter the price you wish to have as a special price next to the fee category. Once you're happy with it, click save. To, add. to change the rack rate or standard price of a fee, navigate the same way by using configure event and details and opening, followed by the public configuration tab. Instead of entering a special price this time, you can just edit the standard price. Once again, once you're happy with the change, select the save option. If a course is to be closed due to weather and there are QGC bookings on that day, the club is responsible to contact the QGC member directly. The preferred method of notifying a QGC member of a cancellation should be via phone. The contact details of a member who's been booked can be found on the T-sheet by selecting their name and then selecting the edit booking option. Their mobile phone number or contact phone number should be found in this area. The alternative to contacting the QGC member via phone is via email. This can be done via the timesheet from Utilities and then Manage Messages. Under the Booking Reminder field, you can change the message to say whatever you need it to be. My message is going to say due to dangerous weather conditions, the course has been closed. Once you are happy with your message, select the save option. Once saved, select close. Once the message has been constructed, select the email reminders option and select email booking reminders. This will send the reminder out to all members on the timesheet. The advanced features include the green fee category setup, booking rules, creating timesheet templates and creating events and applying booking rules. The first advanced feature we'll look at is setting up public fees from scratch. You do this by selecting the public fees option from the fixture list. This will show a list of the fees currently set up. To add a new one, select the add fee category option at the bottom of the page. You'll now need to enter the details for the required fee category, such as a name, which is what will appear on the QGI site, as well as the price, which again is what will appear on the QGI site. Please be aware if you enter a special price, this is what will appear on the QGI website. If your fee includes a cart, select the includes cart option, and if there's a nine hole rate, also select the nine hole option. There is also the facility to enter a start and an end time, which can segment off which times the fee is available from. The booking resource will be the name of your golf club, and the booking client will always be Qantas. If the fee is not selected as Qantas, it will not appear on the QGI site. 
Once you are happy with the fee setup, select the Proceed option. The new fee category you have now set up will appear in the list. The next area we're going to look at is the setup and maintenance of booking rules. To navigate to the booking rules area, select the booking rules tab at the top of the page. This will take you to a current list of booking rules which is set up. To add a new rule, select the add rule option at the bottom of the page. In setting up a new booking rule, you must give it a title, as well as select a colour, which will appear on the timesheet when you apply the booking rule to specific tea times. You must also set the gender restrictions, whether the booking rule is going to be male only, female only, or all genders, as well as set the category restrictions as all. Please disregard the member handicap restriction, the visitor handicap restriction, and the age restriction fields. You can also select whether or not the booking rule is going to be used for competitions only, or if there is a golf link or union number required in the booking rule, and the booking client restriction must be selected as Qantas. You must also select the relevant fee categories within the booking rule which you wish to use. Once these have been selected, you can click save at the bottom of the page. Navigating back to the booking rules list by selecting the booking rules option at the top of the page, you will now see your new booking rule has appeared. If you wish to edit an existing booking rule, select the edit option on the line of that booking rule. The same options as previous will appear, which you can change any at any stage. If you wish, you can also set up timesheet templates from scratch yourself. You do this by navigating back to the fixtures page. From the fixtures page, select the templates option in the top middle of the screen. This templates area will show you a list of templates that were set up by my club staff in the initial setup of your club. To create a new template, select the create new template option at the bottom of the page. This will bring up a blank event. To start configuring the event, select configure event and details and open. You must give the template a name. You must also select the public configuration option and select the public accepted options as well as any of the fee categories you wish to show on this timesheet. To set up your T blocks you must select configure event and then manage groups. Select add group for the number of T blocks you wish to set up. I'm just going to set up one here for the first T. Once you're happy click save and then the close option. Now that my tea block is set, I can create some tea times. I do this by selecting add rows under the edit rows option. I must select the start time, the number of in intervals, which is how many tea times you're going to create, as well as the interval duration. You also need to select the group if there's more than one group set up. I've now set up my tea structure. We must now make these tea times available on the QGI site. We do this by selecting the tea block name on the left hand side and then selecting the list on Qantas option from the box provided. As previous you must select the booking rule to apply to these times. Once you're happy with the rule, select list on Qantas. The change in the tea colour indicates the booking rule has been applied. Navigate back to your fixtures. And if we want to apply these to multiple events, you select the apply to multiple events option. You select the days of the week you wish to apply it to, a date range you wish to apply it from and to, once your date range has been selected, you do have the option to apply the event only to certain gender days and your booking resource will always be your golf course name. Please always apply the items to bookings and categories. If there are no events set up on these days, select the Create New Events option. 
Once you're happy with the parameters you've set, select the Apply Template option. Booking Reports You can produce QGC booking reports at any time. This is done by selecting the Reports option from the Fixtures list. Once in the Reports area, scroll down on the right hand side to the Public Bookings Report by interface. Select the client as Qantas and then the required date range you wish to produce the report for. Once you're happy with the parameters, select Generate Report. The report will automatically download into Excel for you. By expanding the columns, you'll be able to see more detail, such as the player name, the category they've bought, the tea time, as well as the cost. Once again, this can be produced at any stage. This completes the Qantas Tea Time Configuration and Administration for non My Club clients video. Any questions regarding the setup and administration of Qantas Tea Times on the QGI site, please refer to the Qantas Golf Club Inventory Manual, or alternatively, call My Club Support on 08 944 5300.